What is going on, you guys? Pet Platypus here, and it is time to do Tori Goat Chapter 371. Starting off with the technical aspects for this chapter, because I did the same thing for Hunter x Hunter, the artwork was really, really good in this one, particularly this chapter had some really strong art, except on Acacia slash Neo. Acacia and Neo, they always look derpy, but they looked like extra derpy and big-headed in this chapter. I don't know if that was on purpose or what the hell's going on there, but it's really, really weird, so... Yeah, Acacia slash Neo, artwork, and eh, not too strong. Maybe that's the point, I don't know. Everything else looked really good. There's some great panels, what I used for my thumbnail uh, of Torigo. Torigo getting mad at Acacia actually looked kind of silly. The teeth, when he got, when he first said, so you're Acacia, and he had the teeth sticking out, and you could see the gums. That looked kind of, I don't know, that, that looked kind of silly. But art was well drawn on it. It just, you know, but... Other than that nitpick, the art was pretty good, aside from Acacia, so good artwork all around. In terms of story progression, not so much in, like, story progression, really, it's just a big, long conversation, uh, aside from what happens with God at the end, looking all sickly, um, but that's, like, the main story progression. Other than that, it's mainly just characterization for Acacia, and I don't, I'm not feeling it. Uh, it's not that it's bad, it's just that he's talking about how I didn't know, he didn't know what he was, and he was running from his inner demon, and... He ate a bunch of food, and he talked to his demon, and it opens possibilities for him, and he ran all the way to the starting line. I don't get it. If someone can tell me in the comment section below what he's trying to, what's trying to be happening here, you can go ahead and tell me. I don't get it. I'm not feeling it personally, but regardless, it is good to get characterization from him. I just hope that it makes sense and everything, because I don't get it personally. Uh, and I don't really, and it's not even like I don't want to get it, but it's like I don't really care about Neo that much, other than I want to see him die. So, or Neo, or Acacia, I should say. So it's just kind of like, eh. Um, and Toriko noticed that Jiro died, because he saw the smell disappear. And uh, he's, uh, one of the things that's interesting, too, is uh, Joe is like, oh, you know, I won my fight then also. And he's like, you didn't win, because, you know, obviously sealing Midora. Um... So yeah, Mitterrand will definitely come back. I don't know if he'll escape the can on his own or how he'll get out of the can, but he'll definitely come back. Uh, but yeah, that's this chapter, though. I didn't. I should mention the uh, previous chapter a little bit. The previous chapter was good. I know when Acacia and Joa first showed up, it was kind of like, okay, um, yeah, you guys are about to get going in Killawood. Uh, Toriko and the gang... Toriko and the boys gonna get going in Killawood, because there's no way you stand a chance against these motherfuckers. There is no way. No possible way. So, yeah, they were, I pretty much thought they were gonna get their asses kicked, and the fighting really hasn't started yet. Nothing's really happened yet. Um, it was just, like I said, it was just a big conversation in this chapter, getting characterization for Neo. Oh, we also find out that Gigi was able to tell them the preparation method for God at the last second before he was eaten. So that's interesting. Um... And what else happened? We saw a couple of um, a couple of blue nitro. They said center is going to get the ingredient center. That's going to get confusing, maybe. Um, and I think uh, because Tengu Brunchy and Imaru left to go do something, I feel like they're probably going to go get center. Maybe I feel like that's possible. So if they're going to meet up with some blue nitro to battle over center, that would be interesting. And we still have the eight kings doing their thing. And, yeah, I don't know, and Midra's in the can, so there's all kinds of shit going on, but we're definitely gearing up for the big climax of this arc. If everybody's here, if you have Neo, and Midra, and Joa, and Acacia's obviously there because he's with Neo, and the Eight Kings, and the Four Heavenly Kings getting smacked around like fucking pinballs, it's gonna be really interesting. Um, also, Neo... <sighs> I really don't like, I just remembered, I really don't like the dinner plate thing with fucking God. If Neo is really that much stronger than God, that he thinks, oh, the final ingredient of, the, of this planet is bullshit, it's weak. Like, seriously, he can't be that overpowered. Like, that's just dumb. <laughs> that's like literally just, I know I'm supposed to be like being a, a reviewer and being like analytical, but I'm sorry, that's just dumb. If he's really that fucking strong. I know he was. He went to other planets and wiped off species on other planets, and other planets might have stronger creatures than God, but it's just, I, no, no, dude, no. Mitsutoshi, no. Um... Please don't do that, but, you know, because there's no, I mean, no way to beat him other than the bullshit, like, we're going to feed him a Happy Meal, and, you know, that Komatsu bullshit, and it's just, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen, I, whatever, um, 
But yeah, so there's parts of this chapter I personally really don't like, but all in all, it's a good chapter. The previous chapter was good as well. Um, yeah. What else happened in the previous chapter? They tried to fight God. Um, he was fast as fuck. They threw a mold spear. Isn't the mold spear like speed of light? Or like near the speed of light? And fucking God was just like, oh, near speed of light? Mm, just swerves that shit like it was nothing. Just up, oh, miss. Swing and a miss. Like, it was crazy. Uh, also, I think he, like, sucked in his chest, and he looked like a dick. That was interesting. Um, and he was, like, reflecting attacks and shit. So they were basically doing jack shit to him, which is obvious. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, there's no way. There's no way even Toriko, with all three of his demons, is going to be able to compete with these guys. So maybe God, maybe, with all three of his demons. But, like, and how's he going to gain control of them? Like, there's just so much shit. Like, Mitsutoshi did not... And where is fucking... I just... Where are the animals? Where, where are Terry, Kiss, and Quinn, or Queen, whatever the fuck his name, her name is, where are they at? Like, holy shit, there is, like, so much going on that Mitsutoshi has to manage, and we know Mitsutoshi has not managed multiple fucking things going on that well recently, so I don't know how it's gonna go down, but we'll just have to wait and see, um, but yeah, they were, uh, mixed chapters for me, I suppose, well, the, the, the first one, uh, last week's chapter was pretty good, uh, from what I remember of it. This week's chapter, I, w I had some problems with it personally, and I have some concerns about the series going forward, but all around, it was a solid chapter. I don't personally get his characterization, uh, Acacia's, but if you guys can explain to me in the comment section below, that'd be great. Um, it's Part of it is just that I just I don't care about Acacia enough to like care about the characterization, but we'll just have to see. Um, you'd think I would care, too, because he's Acacia, but I really don't. He's not that interesting. Um... I guess this was supposed to make him more interesting, but it, it just didn't work for me, personally. But I'm going to give this chapter like a solid 7 out of 10. It was an okay to good chapter of Toriko. A lot of talking, not a lot of story progression, a little bit at the end with, uh, with Neo, or I mean with God, but still, overall, it was just sort of a, not a filler chapter, because, you know, characterization, but sort of just a fluffed out, kind of padded chapter. You could have probably had them not talk for a whole chapter, but whatever. It's a 7 out of 10, 7.2, whatever the fuck. Okay to good chapter of uh, Toriko, and I'll leave it at that. So, what did you guys think of this chapter of Toriko? You can tell me in the comments section below. You can also follow me on Instagram or add me on PSN. I'm Pet Platypus on both. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it on social media. Both of those uh, would help me out a lot. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. If you, watched the, if you watched the whole video, you probably thought it was at least okay. So hit that subscribe button. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.